Nation, welcome to the Does a Bear Digest for June 8th, 2021. I'm going to spend a moment today on the residential school story because any suggestion that Canada's own little holocaust is limited to just the Kamloops school area is naive. Here's a map of where the residential schools were in Canada. Each one of them likely has its own mass grave. So yeah, there's way more than just 215 children that we'll need to identify and remember. And while I heartily encourage every Canadian to read any book they can about this, specifically those written by survivors of the residential school system, that list will also appear on my Facebook page, by the way, so check it out. I also caution you that all biographies are one-sided accounts and should be taken as such. There's a reason we have a judge here both sides before ruling on a case. <laughs> It's commonly held that the beginning of Norse activity in Britain began on this day in 793 when Vikings raided the abbey at Lindisfarne in Northumbria. That's episode one of season one of History Channel's Vikings series and pretty much the final piece of factual history on that show. Also on this day in 1776, colonists in the then colony of Canada drove American invaders back in the Battle of Trois-Rivières. That's right. We could be speaking American up here instead of English. And on this day in 1949, George Orwell's book, 1984, was published. Since the 90s, we've been witnessing the slow live version of the conservative movement doing exactly what's in that book. Yeah, that cancer is deep. And it didn't start, nor will it end, with Donald Trump. And speaking of Trump, June 8th is also World Brain Tumor Day. That's today's Does a Bear Digest. See you tomorrow.